Hi everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is a Sunday. It's Sunday, December 10th, 2017. I I can't remember a time where I've done a video on a Sunday. Man, do I look awful. Look, I just woke up a little while ago. This is actually my night shirt. <laughs> but I wanted to get this video out because I've been thinking a lot about what's going on here with Bitcoin, what is about to happen here with Bitcoin today, just in a few hours from now, Bitcoin is going to start trading in the futures markets. Now, we all understand that, well, let's think of it this way. Why would Wall Street want to start uh, trading of Bitcoin on a futures exchange? <laughs> Do you think it's in your best interest? Of course it's not. Look. Let me explain something to you unless you don't know. Wall Street never loses. Never. They never lose. Uh, they may have a sacrificial lamb here or there, referring to uh, Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, the last meltdown, but we bailed them out. They never lose and they never will. Period. That's what I want you to know. Now, let's go over this just a little bit so you can understand where I'm, where I'm going with this whole thing. So again, let's define futures. What are the futures markets for those of you that don't really know? Basically, it <laughs> it's all speculation. It's it's where a certain party agrees to buy or sell a particular asset, in this case it's Bitcoin, in the future at a specific price. You got that? Very simple. A lot of people hear this and they get baffled why, but it could not really be any more simple to understand. What do we know for a fact to be true about Bitcoin? Okay. My phone's okay. Gone. My phone's I found this on the web for certain party agrees to buy. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway. So, um, Bitcoin on a relative basis, I mean compared to uh, a corporation, uh, an S&P 500 company, whatever, is very thinly traded and more importantly, possibly, it is not widely held. What does this mean? <laughs> oh my God, it's incredible, think about it. Because of these two factors that I just went over. Bitcoin can easily, easily, or the price of Bitcoin can be rigged, and I mean rigged big time. This is why they are setting up these futures exchanges. All that needs to be done here, seriously, knowing that one, Bitcoin is thinly traded on a relative basis, and two, it is not widely held. All you need is a big institution or someone out here with some big pockets, and there's a lot of people out there with some really deep pockets. Get into uh, any of the Bitcoin exchanges, not the futures exchanges, buy these things up, driving up the price, and then dumping it. Basically running a pump and dump scheme. Now, all I mean, a couple of phone calls need to be made between one entity doing something like that and some other trader or institution that wants to take advantage of that via the futures exchanges. Understand, the, in the futures exchange you don't have to hold one single Bitcoin. You don't have to hold it, own it, anything at all. You're just speculating on future price. You understand? So what we could be witnessing is literally the biggest rigging of any one particular asset uh, that we can possibly imagine. It's so simple for them to do this. Do you believe that Wall Street is going to do this? Oh, beyond any shadow of any doubt. Beyond any shadow of any doubt. In fact, I'm sure that they are going to do this. We can expect to see uh, a major pump and dump scheme go on here. And they're gonna, they've been already trying to figure out how they're going to pull this off with, without, you know, really getting in trouble for it. And they never will anyway. Even if this was brought into the public light that a Wall Street institution was rigging the markets, because we all know that's what they do. I mean, it's public knowledge with regard to precious metals. They will not get in trouble. And let me say this. If, 
they factor in a lot of things. These institutions understand that, hey, you know, we might get caught doing this, but let's set aside a few, few dollars here out of the windfall that they can make, or they will make from this scheme that I just went over, they're going to set some funds aside to pay some fines. It's the cost of doing business. Now, what does that mean for regular Bitcoin investors? Well, you're probably in for a wild ride. I, it, Bitcoin could vault higher, but then expect it to be you know, vault lower. These these movements here that we've been seeing are going to prob probably, and I think they will because of the mechanism I just went over, be exaggerated. And and on, honestly, the windfall profits or the potential for windfall profits from Wall Street is literally off the chart. Um, look, that's my take on it. It should seem very simple to you. Understanding what I went over, again, Bitcoin on a relative basis is very thinly traded, held by, it is not widely held. So why would Wall Street want to set up a futures exchange? Well, so they can speculate on it without owning a single Bitcoin or holding a Bitcoin, however you want to put it. And, uh, and at the same time, they can rig it. That's what this is. I've said this before. That's what's going to go on here, people. So um, let's watch and see how this plays out. Um, anyway, they'll never lose. Wall Street always wins. It's, it's an ongoing phenomenon since forever, and it will never stop. That's because you know why? You do know what? Wall Street, I don't care who you believe might be running the world or who's the most powerful man on earth. <laughs> Wall Street runs the world. I'll see you tomorrow morning.